apps for dating like hey. like t- you know how of tinder Chine, okay? I've not heard about it. You design your own profile. So mm-hmm. you say I'm Sharon Mutani Kuria, you put your age, what your interest, ni 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 ni. So then the, the app itself does matchmaking for you. Unaweza so pata kama China. Yeah. Unaweza pata yote. You can get anybody. Yeah. So if you've loved so, this girl, she's from where do you come from? Right. We used to love them and see them from a distance. <laughs> but in the back of your mind you remember <laughs> Baba Risaba. Usi ate. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is that you are joining me on yet another episode of Life with Noni Mothoni. Thank you so much for joining us on yet another episode. We are glad to have you uh, join us uh, today and we are glad that we have the pleasure of being part of your day. And our guest is back again and this time we are having a candid conversation and it's going to be an interesting one i hope you are ready to get oh, on oh i'm ready bring it on yeah you can introduce ready. yourself once again yeah thank you very much noni mm-hmm. mboni my name is charles kegoma mm-hmm. aka baba noni <laughs> baba timo <laughs> baba monane <laughs> thank you yes yes thank mm-hmm. you so much for gracing us another video mm-hmm. and today we are having a very uh, interesting discussion mm-hmm. uh especially it coming from a father as these are not conversations that really especially children have with their parents a lot but we are going to try our best and uh bring to you a very edifying and enlightening uh conversation and so to start us off so we're going to be talking about as you can see from the title of the video we are going to be talk we are going to be comparing relationships back then in their days and relationships today and so we are going to be comparing the different dynamics to relationships relationships you know relationships in their days how they were how they how they dealt with different challenges and now what you're seeing today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, in relationships marriages and all and what would be your advice as a father so we can start um with how 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 are relationships then in your day ah uh, thank you very much uh nani mboni for having me mm-hmm. I think there are similarities but also contrast between uh, our time and uh, the current yeah. time. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, let me first of all uh, focus on uh, some of the things that used to happen during our days that yeah. may not be a major issue nowadays. Mm-hmm. I think number one it's communication. Yeah. During our time when we were dating, we had serious challenges with communication. communication. We did have mobile phones. Mm-hmm. And you can imagine you know the dating during those days and even going to an extent of planning for a wedding mm-hmm. and Must there were no mobile phones. Yeah. It was a big big challenge. Mm-hmm. So anytime you want to see your friend mm-hmm. you really have to plan about that meeting yeah. or appointment or what you call nowadays dates. Yes. yes. So you have to really plan and mm-hmm. plan it and well and time. i can use my own examples yeah you can yeah like uh, my wife Catherine used to work in Nairobi hospital those days mm-hmm. and i used to work in Kiambu hospital mm-hmm. and also doing some locum in uh, Altari mm-hmm. and uh, any time i wanted to set a date for us to meet i would call Nairobi hospital <laughs> <laughs> you know, and once you get to the operator, you ask for the word, mm-hmm. and uh, you are not very sure whether she's on duty, duty or yeah. not. Mm-hmm. So you'll establish whether she's on duty or not. If she's not on duty, then you you need to ask them when she'll be coming mm-hmm. on duty. Mm-hmm. Then from there, once you're able to reach her, then uh, you can now agree. When Maybe you when you can meet, particularly mm-hmm. based on her schedule, mm-hmm. and also your own schedule, yeah. and uh, you know, also agreeing that we we'll meet in a certain place. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Remember, there were no mobile phones, yeah. so you needed to be a very patient person mm-hmm. because definitely one person will arrive early, mm-hmm. and you not even get to know when the other person will come. Mm-hmm. So you needed to have like a gift of patience. Wait. Wait, then, wait, then wait. maybe one of you missed oh, showing yeah, up. Oh yeah, I was a culprit. I was a culprit. <laughs> oh my so friend. So you didn't show up. You know, sometimes you are caught up in the traffic jam, uh-huh. and I used to hustle a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So sometimes I'm caught in the traffic jam from Kariobangi coming wow. to the city center. Uh-huh. And uh, really she had to be patient with me. Oh, yeah, yes. so those were unique, unique dates, uh, days. Mm-hmm. And uh, just even think about um, an appointment with your best couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be tricky because yeah. like our best couple was based in Royal in those days. Mm-hmm. So you have to, you know, figure it out mm-hmm. when the two of you are available and when your best couple will be mm-hmm. available, available and there are no mobile phones. And uh, even thinking about um, if I go to Royro or if we go to Royro, mm-hmm. shall we manage to come back but, uh, or are we going to spend? Yeah, my friend. So it's yeah? a bit of a challenge. To the talk I can, mm-hmm. I can imagine. So that was it. one of the challenges. Uh-huh. You want me to go to the second? Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. The second challenge was expectations of our mm-hmm. parents during those days mm-hmm. and also the religious community. Mm-hmm. It's not like nowadays where you people relate and your friends and your parents get to know. Mm-hmm. During those days, if you are like father will see you with a girl. Mm-hmm automatically he, he will just get to know that you're getting married like i'll give wow. you my own examples <laughs> when i completed form four mm-hmm. at the age of 18 i remember one day i met with a lady mm-hmm. and i was escorting her to her place mm-hmm. and uh, i happened to have met with my father <laughs> so the first question my father asked me Morio, Morio, yeah. do you have the goats <laughs> we're not body <laughs> yeah because so you directly assume that you're going to yes, uh, I'm, I'm marry I'm marrying this daughter of maybe. so and so. Uh, okay. So the expectation was if you're bound with a Finally, person of yeah. opposite sex, then yeah. it is about a marriage. Wow. Hmm? And I just cleared my phone for mm-hmm. and he was asking me whether I have goats. Yeah, because he thought I want to get married. <laughs> then again mm-hmm. on the side of the religious community, mm-hmm. I think it's not like nowadays, those days we had even been given some SOPs. You know what are SOPs? Standard, Standard operating procedures. Uh-huh. If I'm talking about my background, uh-huh. yeah. If you want to get married and you're in the church, uh-huh. in fact, we were told when you have you entertain that idea, bring it to the elders first. Wow. Yeah. Share with them that uh, I think I'm of age. Uh-huh. I think I need now to be commissioned to uh-huh. go and look for a girl. Wait, not even getting married. No, 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 no. Commissioning. Like dating phase. Yes, yes. That is the SOP we have been given. <laughs> then after you <laughs> have prayed for and sent out commissioned. Uh-huh. So that, you know, the issue is if you are found with a guard, they will not question. Uh-huh. You have what already announced okay. to the orders uh-huh, uh-huh. that you want to look for a lady. Uh-huh. So after you find one, uh-huh. you need to come and report back. That now I have one by the name of so and so, and then you know she can be invited and mm. you can have a sitting together. Wow. So there was a lot of expectation, and during those days, that? my friend, it was a bit difficult for some of us, <laughs> but uh, I can, I can tell you lot. it's not the way things are happening today, nowadays. Today, there was a lot of expectation, of also, expectation from most of the religious community yeah. about how people should, um, you know, be. Be involved in these relationship issues. Mm-hmm, huh? mm-hmm. The other bad issue that was a major, major, major one okay. was inter ethnic relationships. Oh, uh, marrying from different oh, communities. Oh, my friend, marrying from different communities. So you were, those we were like marrying box. things. We were put in a box. What? Okay. Some of the parents were very strict. Mm-hmm. I remember my father telling me, You know, my son, mm-hmm. I love you. Mm-hmm. But be careful don't bring people from other communities wow. and he defined so he told you for me you should yes stick within these boundaries <laughs> yeah okay, okay. so you can imagine if you brought somebody mm-hmm. outside that definition it would be a big issue in fact you could be dissolved eh, yeah, it, was it was a serious issue it was a serious issue you'll be forced to go back to the drawing board yeah no, if you've loved so, this girl, she's from I way tell you, my friend, we used to love them and see them from a distance. But in the back of your mind, you remember, Baba, Lisa, 
Pussy like that. Oh, that was hard. That was yeah. it. Okay, okay. It's not like nowadays. Like, you know, like, yeah. like, 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 like. Nowadays you can even go abroad. I tell you, you know people know. are marrying from other continents. Yeah. And that parents okay. are still uh, accepting. Yeah. So that was a major, major. I think it only, it only boils down to the person who they are. Yes. Yeah. So it was, of course, those, we had a lot of challenges, logistical issues, mm-hmm. challenges, as I told you. Um, you know, even if your friend was from another place, mm-hmm. you know, just even convening that meeting or a date yeah, to meet, it was, it was hard because you have to think about mm-hmm. where to sleep. Mm-hmm. We were not people who are mobile like you people. Yeah. I see some of you are blessed, you move with the cars. Ask oh, yeah. my friend, it was Route 11 <laughs> or Matatu. Route 11 <laughs> is working. <laughs> yeah? Or... Uh-huh. To take public means. Yeah, okay. And maybe the last thing I could touch on was the issue of dowry. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I remember the interesting story you told us. Yeah. How how when you're going to present dowry to the, to her to mom's side yeah. and you are left somewhere. What happened? Oh that one. Okay, hey, my friend, I'll never forget that story. Yeah? What happened? It was a serious encounter. Uh-huh. We planned very well uh-huh. to go to my wife's place, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we agreed that we shall meet in uh, Makutam mm-hmm. Junction. Mm-hmm. We were actually departing oh, from Makutam Roiro. Of Embu. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. So, you know, our bus couple was in Roiro, mm-hmm. and we had our parents who had come from Kitale, we had mm-hmm. our friends. Mm-hmm. So, we all gathered in Roiro, mm-hmm. and then we agreed, let's now move, and uh, we have to wait for each other okay. at uh, Makutano Junction. Mm-hmm. Yes? <laughs> On, yeah, yeah. Call it Makutano Junction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, as we left with our best couple and my brother, mm-hmm. so we went up to that junction on the way to branching to Embu. We waited for our parents and the other people there, but they never showed up. So we got worried what had happened. Mm-hmm. Do you know, hey, my friends, hey, without more, my phone, do you know we were so worried that we had to take the journey from Makutano no, back to Roiro? Because we thought maybe they have been involved in a road accident. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and you know those are so many hours. Yeah. Then we came the whole journey. That is over a hundred kilometers probably, only to discover there was no accident on the way. Yeah. So we went back uh-huh. to Makutano. Uh-huh. Then we thought maybe they had they gone to Sagana to Junction. Uh-huh. So we drove all the way to Sagana Junction, and there were nowhere. So from there we got confused, but we decided, okay, let's put soldier on. Let's yeah. drive to Embu Town. Mm-hmm. Maybe they are there. Yeah, yeah. We went to Embu Town. They were not there. Uh-huh. Hey, then we decided. Bahatisha. Now, Bahatisha, sasa. Then eventually, because it was getting late, uh-huh. we decided let's go to my friend's place uh-huh. and just report that it did work out. Maybe we will organize for another yeah, visit. That, that <laughs> so we drove all the way to Ebu Karumo. Uh-huh. The most shocking thing, you because we knew one thing that nobody knew her place. Uh, nobody in that other group yeah, knew her place. Knew. Okay, okay. So I'm the one who knew the place. Okay, so you're I'm the one who had the map, ID. everything. Yeah, my yeah. Friend. So when we reached that compound, the most shocking thing we found them there. <laughs> The way they went there, I think, is a story for another. They're waiting for you. Huh? They're not waiting for you. And they were very worried, of course. Why? And by the time we arrived there, it was around 6 p.m. in the evening. <laughs> story of how they found themselves there is another miracle. It requires an interview. <laughs> Let's go on. But I can imagine. Hey, hey, then but one. now, coming back to the dowry issue, yeah. I think the one of them major difference between those days and these days mm-hmm. is that um, there were so many stakeholders. Uh, yeah. My, yeah, but those days, it you know, a child belonged to the community. To the community. Yeah, that's true. You could be disciplined, mm-hmm. not just by your parents. Yeah, by anyone. Anybody, anybody of the age group, group of your parents, parents, your mother, your father, they yeah. could discipline you yeah, yeah. because you belong to the community. Yeah. So when it came to marriage, and dowry issues, mm-hmm. so many there were so many goals. stakeholders. Yeah. So many stakeholders and they had their own demands. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Everybody and of wanted course the traditions share. were also more tougher than these days. Yeah, today. People have realized that a little bit. Yeah. But those days I think the demands based on the culture, mm-hmm. I think it was more compared with these days. Yeah. 
So, yeah, all those are some of the things that I could uh, also highlight. That was challenging. Mm, yeah, yeah. 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 No, and today, thank sad. you very much. You, uh, at you least there's a cup of tea, my friend. <laughs> I complained to you the other two. So we have a cup of tea, but I, okay, mm. I'm, I'm really trying to imagine too. It mm. was a really, really, um, really mm. tough time. So now, comparing now to today's relationship, I mean, how today things are going mm. on, what you have seen, what you've been privileged to see from mm. uh, now the people in today's generation. So how is it? What what is the maybe the biggest contrast okay. of what you see now? Today? Number one, you know, for us, mm-hmm. we were BBC, born before computer. <laughs> Nowadays, ah. you guys are dot com. <laughs> BBC, BBC, the whole computer. Uh huh. So there's nothing like social media. Okay, yeah. That's I true. think today one of the major, major difference mm-hmm. is the social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the relationship nowadays they have the scope is so wide. Mm-hmm. As we are limited because we used to meet mm-hmm. with girls in camps. In churches, Church, community, those, those kind of community mm-hmm. gatherings. Mm-hmm. So that was our scope. Mm-hmm. And if you went to college, then you or university, you'll meet mm-hmm. the girls there. Mm-hmm. But the, our scope was not like today. Mm. I think today the social media has opened yeah. and enlarged the scope. Yeah, yeah. So people are meeting. You know, even We're people have never, village. yeah, the, the yeah. whole group has become a village. So yeah. people are meeting, chatting, yeah. others are in Australia, some are in mm. Africa, others in Europe, America, and you don't know each other. Yeah. And we are seeing now also relationships being yeah. taken to the social media yeah, that's uh, platform. They even, in fact, they even I know. For oh, dating. I don't know. You've never had. I have only seen people doing television programs for dating. No, there are apps for dating, like Yay. like t- you never heard of Tinder. Tinder, okay? I have not heard about it. I just came from West like, Africa. No, they're, they're dating mm-hmm. apps, so people meet on those apps. So yeah. you, you you design your own profile. So mm-hmm. you say I'm um, Sharon Mutanikuria. You put mm-hmm. your age, what your interest, ni 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 ni. So then the, the app itself does matchmaking for you. So it, yeah. <laughs> you can get anybody. can get anybody. So it does matchmaking for mm. you. It shows you who are your suitable people or who are more likened to what you do and all that. <coughs> now that is social media. Yeah. I didn't know about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how As I told you, I'm BBC. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you can imagine now. I mm-hmm. also know some couples mm-hmm. that are actually met through social, social media. Social media, that's true. Yeah. At least I know two. Yeah. They are married, uh-huh. but they met on through social, social media. media yeah, yeah. So that is that is different mm-hmm. from our days. Yeah. It seems now you people you are advertising yourselves. <laughs> it's not advertising. You put huh? what is it? Is it not advertising? <laughs> huh? If you are putting your profile uh-huh. and the kind of a person you'd want, uh-huh. you don't need that. You don't need that. To send me to to equip the video in video, we call it as it is. <laughs> Muna advertise. Such yeah? technology has uh, brought for us. Yeah, but um, it is. I would call it. It's it, it's like a two-edged sword. Yeah. It has its positive sides, mm-hmm. but also the negative yeah. aspects. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And uh, in those kind of um, relationship where people are meeting through the social media. Mm-hmm. I think you really need to invest a lot of time okay. in knowing each that, other. That's true, that's true. Why? Because if you look at um, Karen, mm-hmm. what the things that are happening, there are a lot of marriage failures, yes. a lot of divorce cases. Mm. During those days, mm-hmm. the days of our parents, during our time, divorce was, divorce was a foreign thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Foreign, yeah. foreign, foreign. Yeah. We knew you go to marriage, into marriage mm-hmm. is for life. Till death do you Till pass. death do hmm? yeah, yeah. The separation will come at, at that time. Yeah. So, but today things have, I think yeah. because people have also taken the institution of marriage without the, you know, the, without the weight the it should yes, be yes. given. Huh? Yeah. So that's why people can meet. And sometimes people are putting even wrong pictures. Mm-hmm. In those oh, social media, yeah, yeah you Even find, really yeah. By the way, by the time you agree on uh, time to meet, mm-hmm. you not even identify the person that's true, that's because true. they have <laughs> they're different. Yeah, they are counterfeit. Hmm? <laughs> counterfeit means like true. one big sun. Mm. So you see, those are issues. So you have really to invest a lot in knowing each other. Mm. 
And I think uh, one of the things we are also seeing today mm -hmm. is about the closeness when people are relating. Mm -hmm. You see people holding each other even in the streets and all those kind of mm. Since during our time, it's called greetings. PDA. It's called PDA. PDA, what is that? Public display of affection. Oh my God. <laughs> during You've our time. That. No. <laughs> during our time, greetings. Uh -huh. You step one meter back. <laughs> yeah? It's called holy distance. Maintain social distance. It's holy distance. Yeah, you holy distance. <laughs> Watch as I use my skin and COVID. Ili <laughs> kwepo. <laughs> Social yeah. distance. Social distance. Uh -huh. You don't. So those um, things that have come and mm -hmm. they look like they they are fashionable. Mm -hmm. I think also they have made so many people mm -hmm. not maintain purity. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. They many many people not all of them but uh, many relationships people don't maintain purity before marriage right, yeah. because they are getting so much used to each other. Mm -hmm. Until now, they start engaging like there are people who are married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's true. So that's another thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the other thing we have seen today mm -hmm. is lack of preparation. Before getting into marriage. Before getting into that's marriage. True. So many people are jumping into marriage mm -hmm. yeah. before they are well mm -hmm. prepared, they mm -hmm. are well grounded. Mm -hmm. By the way, let me say mm -hmm. that uh, it's not about your age. Yeah. Preparation is not about your age only, mm -hmm. but everybody who's not married, you need to be properly really? educated mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. enlightened and counseled. Mm -hmm. Why should you spend four years in a university studying insects, if you are doing entomology and those kind of things, mm -hmm. and you don't want to invest in marriage? Mm. You can spend four years in the university studying about insects. Mm -hmm. Insects. I see you point. Yeah? <laughs> Entomology. Yeah. Insects. Ghee, mosquito, cockroach, other things. But you don't want to invest in preparing for your marriage. That's true. That's true. Surely. An institution of marriage, people should be well prepared before you mm. go in. So invest in the preparation. Before getting married. Yeah, because that is what will give you a good foundation. Yeah, yeah that's true. If you want to know how uh, how tall a building will go, yeah. look at the, the foundation. foundation. Yeah. The more they dig in the foundation, to, to I mean underground, to lay a good foundation, the, the stronger the building yeah. will be. Yeah. So many people want towering marriages, mm -hmm. tall towering marriages, but, but they don't want, want to invest. set their marriages in the right uh, foundation. Yeah. So you need to invest. In uh, getting the right foundation, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't build your uh, your relationship on sand. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be too far. Mm -hmm. It will not stand the test of time. That's true. It needs to be on a solid foundation. It doesn't matter. I like what you said. It's not about your age. Yes. It's about your maturity and readiness. Mm. How ready you are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there is a lot. There is mm -hmm. a lot that needs to be to be done. That's true. Yeah. Mm. So uh, because uh, because even by the way, that's true too, because today mm -hmm. we see a lot of relationships. Um, one thing, okay, now in my generation, mm -hmm. as I'm seeing, mm -hmm. even other than being ready, people love fear the aspect of marriage because they think they're seeing the way the rates of separation and divorce is going high. Mm -hmm. So they prefer maybe to go as through another route like can we stay mm -hmm. and all. So when they see divorces are going high, so they. Mm -hmm lose belief and trust in marriage and so yes. they're like so it's better for me to just settle with my girlfriend or my boyfriend we see where life will take us and so you can we stay which i think that was not it was, it not, was not the case because those are experiments yeah that was not the those are case experiments in, in our days that was not the case yeah for people who had a solid foundation mm -hmm. um yeah, people are rushing into those kind of come we stay relationships mm -hmm. and they go at night. Mm -hmm. There are no witnesses. The mm -hmm. same way you take it casually when you're going in, mm -hmm. the same way you'll be treated casually mm -hmm. by the when other person. Need. But if you took the right channels, mm -hmm. you brought your friend mm -hmm. before the parents, mm -hmm. before other, uh, other family see. members, yeah. and you are taken to church, mm -hmm. you are prayed for, mm -hmm. you're blessed. You're blessed. You take it serious because there were so many witnesses along the way. So you are likely to have a successful marriage if you have mm -hmm. taken 
time to invest in the preparation of this mm -hmm. and also use the correct procedures yeah. to eventually to get united. But uh, if we take shortcuts, then um, they can be very costly. Yeah, that's true. They can be very costly. And so just, I know this conversation can take a very long time, and mm. there's so many aspects and dynamics to it that mm. we can talk about. But just to bring now, uh, to wind up the discussion, and mm. uh, as a parting shot, mm. as a parent, or even as a father, mm. what would be your parting shot to, <clears throat> to, okay. to, to young people, and also to, par other, to other parents themselves? Yeah, thank you very much. I mm. think I will uh, mention some few things. Mm -hmm. And some of them have touched on them. Yeah. I think one of the things I really ask the young people mm -hmm. is to take time to know each other. That's true. It is important mm -hmm. to invest time in knowing each other. Don't rush mm -hmm. into taking somebody. Yeah. Just because you met and uh, briefly you engaged, you had um, lunch together, mm -hmm. you had an outing together. Take time to know each other. That's mm -hmm. very, very important. Mm -hmm. And also get the right counsel. I think yeah, people are getting into marriages without too. counsel. Yeah. Um, they don't want counsel or they are going for the wrong counsel. Mm -hmm. And even you look, okay, you, you know, you told me not to preach. And okay. I really is <laughs> changing myself. But I can give an example in the Bible. Yeah, you remember yeah. there was a son of Solomon, yeah. uh, Rehoboam, mm -hmm. uh, who did not want to receive counsel from the elders mm -hmm. and yeah. decided to go for counsel mm -hmm. to, to his men. age mates. Yeah. And you know, the repercussion, the outcome, the consequences, mm -hmm. the, the, the the kingdom had to split. Yeah. So it's good to get counsel and also get it from the right source. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is that um, young people should ensure purity as a priority. Yeah. Because honestly, if you are going to a relationship where you have already started engaging mm -hmm. uh, in sex and those kind of things, mm -hmm. then there is lack of purity. And um, those are things that are really affecting many marriages today mm -hmm. because people want to go for a road test. Mm -hmm. They call it the road test of women. <laughs> they want to see whether the vehicle is functioning and all kind of things. So those kind of things, huh? <laughs> those kind of things, huh? They are the ones that are destroying marriages. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. But if you hold on mm -hmm. and keep yourself pure, mm -hmm and go into marriage the right way, mm -hmm. then you'll have a blessed marriage. That's true. Mm -hmm. The other thing I would want to emphasize as we try to wind up is yeah. um, ensure you get somebody of your same faith, huh? yeah. mutual faith, huh? because we are seeing marriages whereby people are not careful about faith mm -hmm. issues. And two cannot work Even, together. Yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Even among the Christians, you find one is so mature in faith, mm -hmm. another one is a spiritual baby. Mm -hmm. And it's like you have to raise up the other one. Mm -hmm. so it becomes mm -hmm. quite difficult. And I think these are foundational issues. Mm -hmm. If you can get somebody who is well grounded mm -hmm. in faith, you have the same, you share the same faith. Mm -hmm. Where I come, I've been for the last six years in West Africa, I've also seen people being so casual mm -hmm. that you know to an extent whereby Christians are marrying Muslims, Muslims are mm, you know marrying Christians and marriages. you know interreligious marriages yeah. and you don't have you don't share the same faith. Yeah. So I would really add that people we, we don't see that much in our country here. Yeah. But we are also seeing people relaxing so much on mm -hmm. issues exactly. of faith. Huh? So and uh, lastly as I wind up mm -hmm. there is a need for people to be patient. Mm -hmm. Uh if you want a better marriage, you have to learn to be patient with each other. When you get married, mm -hmm. married, married uh -huh. please be patient with each other. Mm -hmm. Because people are going to marriage mm -hmm. and of course you are not you are not designed the same way. You are different yeah, people. people are human. You really have to be patient with each other. Because mm -hmm. every marriage will go through a test of time. Mm -hmm. And there will be sh you know, shakings mm -hmm. that will come. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to cope Mm -hmm. You know, in that kind of a new institution, you mm -hmm. must learn each other, mm -hmm. you must adjust to each other. Mm -hmm. So, there are areas that you need to adjust each other, or you have to decide mm -hmm. to accommodate the other That's person. True. Yeah, so you really have to be patient. People, People want quick, quick outcomes. Yeah? yeah, I think we are in a microwave mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. The way you're mm -hmm. putting things in microwave, and after a few seconds, they're out. Yeah. Please, marriages cannot be. Manage Micro like microwaves, eh? yeah. whereby you want quick, quick things. You know, we are living in an instant generation. Mm -hmm. Instant coffee, mm -hmm. everything, <laughs> everything is instant. Is instant. People don't want to invest and that be patient. Be patient with each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's true. Mm.
I think that's 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 really beautiful and that's mm. really great. Thank you so much for shedding those uh, nuggets of wisdom as far as relationships and marriages are concerned. Mm. And uh, we pray and hope even uh, will not just hear but will do the things uh, that we have shared because they're very sound, mm. very sober things uh, to talk about. And with that, we can develop and we can change the narrative about relationships sure. and marriages. Marriage, mm. ma- I know marriage is a beautiful thing, oh, it's yes. a beautiful place to mm-hmm. be in. Mm. And so, because I hear, I have friends who tell me, I mean, I don't think I want to get married. I mean, marriage, so they label like marriage is the, is the thing that has the problem, mm. yet it's the individuals who get, it's how sure. the individuals get into mm. it. Mm. So I think with such conversations, we can change the narrative about marriage and relationships. So thank you so much uh, for honoring this invitation to be here and sharing and enlightening us um, in these things. And we, I am so so grateful. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to have you, to having you for more, even with mom, share more on these things and see where it oh, goes. Yeah. Bring her, bring her. We'll definitely. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it will be quite exciting. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, will. Yeah, sure yeah. will. But I think we. In one way or another, we have been role models to yeah. you people, yeah, and you can true. see that marriage works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. godly marriages God, work. Marriages work. Mm. Yes, that is. A good institution. Mm. Yeah. And we are we are grateful to see that, mm. and thank you for even uh, chattering that path and just going ahead in mm. the right ways. So I think with that we call this a video, we call this an episode and uh, thank you so much for uh, staying tuned, being with us and this conversation. It was I, I personally enjoyed it and I hope you have and have learned something out of it. Uh, should you be having any questions? Should people want a part two, part three? You definitely have to come back. Nico <laughs> Jojo. Even though we'll do a video call from all the way from West Africa. From West Africa. <laughs> you, if the people ask for you again, we'll definitely bring you back. Bring it on. Yes. But thank bring you so much. Uh, be sure to share, be sure to like, be sure to comment and engage with us. And most of all, subscribe, subscribe. to the subscribe. channel. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Sub- say subscribe. Non- Subscribe. Okay. Nani madani. <laughs> yes. Click. Hapo hapo. Yes. Swaka. So thank you so much. We we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. God bless you.